now let us study about the elastic deformation of concrete or you can say that the stress versus strain curve for concrete listen to this this part very carefully because the curve which i am going to draw right now it will be used while designing of beams right say a singly reinforced as well as the double reinforced beams so this is very important now when i will be teaching you about beams i will not be explaining you regarding the graph right now i am going to explain you regarding the graph in detail and just listen to this very carefully you will not face any problem while designing beams this is very important okay now if you apply let us let us say that this is the cubical mold 115 to 115 to 150 mm you apply some load from here as well as here now what will happen when you will initially apply load stress will be increased strain will also be increased and at some point of time a load p will be reached where it will break or you can say it has failed actually right now the first of all i am going to draw the ideal curve if you are going to perform the experiment in lab which what type of curve you get okay so if you perform the experiments in lab you will get this type of curve it is just like parallel uh, initially it is straight little bit straight after that it st starts getting parabolic let me draw it again initially it is straight after some time it is like that this parabolic or you can say extend it like that, like this right now let us say this strain is 0.002 and the strain at which it breaks is 0.0035 0.003 i will explain you what these are 0.002 0.0 i will explain you each and everything okay now this is the i this is the realistic curve realistic means this is the actual curve what you get in your laboratory but you know that this curve is very difficult to interpolate right it is very difficult to get the young's modulus what is young's modulus young's modulus you know that in strength of materials stress is directly proportional to strain stress is directly proportional to strain if you remove the sign of proportionality you get a constant and that constant is known as the young's modulus of elasticity e into e epsilon right so this e is known as the young's modulus of elasticity so in graph how do you get the young's modulus if you calculate the slope of the graph you will get the young's modulus because this is y is equals to mx plus 0 mx plus c what is m m is the slope of the line and what is m m is actually e so from stress strain curve the slope of the graph you will get the value of m of e right similarly here also and you know that this is realistic curve this is the actual curve what you get in sorry laboratory right at every point of this curve e has different value here this is e this is e this is slope slope is tan theta let's say this is ec right at this point you have different e you draw slope you get different e let us say it is et right so at every point you get different value right so it is very difficult to interpolate to get some idea about the value of modulus of elasticity from this curve so it is very difficult so our code it has specified or you can say it has modified this curve into a simpler curve why so that we can easily interpolate a lot of information from the graph because this graph it is very difficult to get all the information okay so what is the graph which has been given by the code i will explain you that also but before going to that point this slope or you can say the initial slope if i draw a tangent initially to this curve this is known as the initial tangent is this is known as the initial tangent modulus tangent modulus this is known as the initial tangent modulus okay so initially it will be straight then slowly 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 at this point at this point the graph it changes gradually into a parabola now it was a small parabolic curve now from here it changes gradually to a declination from uh, up to here it was inclination now after this point it will be into declination right the angle will start decreasing 
so this point let us this is point number a okay so this point if you draw a tangent at this point this is known as the final tangent right so let us say this is et so et is the final tangent final tangent and because you are getting the slope you are getting as modulus it is also known as final tangent modulus now one more important thing what britishers are doing they are not using neither ec nor et what they are using they are using another modulus which is known as secant modulus so what is secant modulus if you join the origin this is this is origin if you join origin to this point let us say you are joining origin to this point let us say you are joining this so the angle which you are getting or the slope you are getting let us say this is es so es or it is also known as e theta also whatever you want e theta or es right this es is known as the secant modulus right so es is known as secant modulus britishers are using this modulus secant modulus okay so this was all about the realistic curve of stress strain of concrete now let us go to the curve which has been given by the is code and in that curve i will explain you what this is 0.002 and what is 0.0035 right so let us see what that curve is 